Hello everyone, I'm Double J. Welcome back to Valley Spring. It's uh, October 2nd, beautiful sunny morning. And what is this now? Two videos in a row that have been screwed up. It's fantastic. It's like there's a curse on this farm or something. Uh, yes, so the first video that screwed up, I messed up the audio. I forgot to save for some reason. I don't know what I was thinking. I closed it out, left it, and it died. So I had video but no audio. The second video I recorded, my video crashed while I was uh, messing with the audio in Audacity because I take out the noise and I kind of give it boosts here and there. And the computer crashed. In the middle of that, lost that file. Cool. And now I'm kind of scared because I, I, I'm i actually recording now on a new microphone, a dynamic microphone. I have been recording on a condenser for quite a while now. And now I've switched to a dynamic. And on this farm, I just, I'm, I'm literally, it's just hitting me right now that this is be the third in a row. If something goes wrong with this recording because I switched microphones and the microphone didn't pick up right or something didn't happen... This will be the third video in a row that has failed on this farm. I hope, I hope, I hope that is not the case. So, let's recap two videos worth of stuff, which isn't a whole lot of stuff I did. I have removed fence from this area. All right, I have removed rock, the rock wall, from here. Because you can go up to these things, right, and you hit O. Oh, and they disappear. You hit O, oh, they come back again. So if you ever want to put these back, I could just be like, boop, here's more rock wall again. Boop, uh, okay, bye-bye. Um, same with the fences. Uh, you can also, now the shrubs, the shrubs, uh, you could cut, I don't know, I probably, every time I try, I've tried to like, say this and get it to come up, it hasn't come up properly for me. But you can cut them with a chainsaw. There's like a one spot in that shrub that'll that'll cut. And you can get rid of the whole shrub. Those don't come back by O. Let's see, like, there's a fence here. And there and there it is, right? But I took it out, because then we can have access to this field, whatever we're going to do with it. I kind of want to do, like, grapes or olives, if the map will allow it. Because this whole time I've been playing FS22... I have not done grapes or olives, the two new specialty crops. I haven't actually done grapes since FS 15, I think. Might have been 17. I really want to say it was... No, no, not 15. 17. I forgot about 19. Uh, 19 17. I think I haven't done grapes since FS 17. I'm pretty sure I didn't do 19. I didn't play a lot of 19, actually. Uh, 15 is still my most heavily played with 1,200 hours. Um, let's see. We bought, I bought, uh, three more prickly pear plants out of my own actual money. Let's see, this whole area I, I put in before I started the game. So it wasn't out of my, my pocket. The three new prickly pear plants I actually paid for out of my own pocket because they are absolutely worth it. So we've got this one, this one, and that one there. All brand new. Um. Oh yeah, we can definitely get a, a, a pallet of apples out of each of those trees. Bring those over. I think that was what our plan was. What we ended up doing last episode was plowing in our grass fields over here. Because we had uh, 30, 31, and 29 raw grass fields, and I decided to make it all one field. So there was a, like a hedgerow, I believe, at this tree that went across and divided 31 and 29, took that out, plowed it in, de rocked it. We have a de rocker now. And then there was a road here, or like a little entryway, and then a, a hedgerow that lined up with this. 
Got rid of all that. So now we have this. It's all one big field. And it's all been de-rocked. So that's what it's sitting at. Well, I left this tree. There was a tree in the middle over there we got rid of. That was another kerfuffle. I bought a wood chipper trailer, but it wouldn't take anything bigger than like a twig. So then we ended up getting one of the ones that goes on the three point linkage in the front. But I did leave this tree with a little island because I like that in a in a field every once in a while to have a something in the middle of it. Got rid of the gates and in most of the places. Um, I don't think I got rid of this one. I did not. You gotta close them to get rid of them. I guess it was open when I was doing that. So we'll just take care of that real quick. Uh, deedle, 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 deedle around until I can see it, and we get rid of that, and we go bye bye. The one thing about this map, you could sell almost everything, which is really cool. And I can't remember how far back, but we did sell the silo that was over there and put a shed in. I got rid of one of the bushes here and the gate. So now I have a nice big opening. I'm thinking about like getting rid of this bush, but nah, I think we got a good enough opening. Ah, uh, I changed out the forage mixer. Can't remember if I've said that because like I said, I've lost two videos now. I do not remember what was actually put up and what I've lost. Uh, we got rid of the manure pit here. We put a workstation backwards, of course. I uh, got rid of the silo and put another identical shed because that's a Valley Spring Mod shed. Uh, there's the the wood chipper grinder. We got pigs and we fed them and we got we bought food and we bought straw to give them so that we could get poop. So we can get that uh, ornamental tree up and running. And then I also put a... And that trailer's full of wood chips still. <laughs> and I also put a, uh, a manure pit down over here at the cows to see if the cows would actually give us manure. Because there was no manure pit over here. I also took out the wall and the gate at the entrance here. I took down the wall that was right here because there's supposed to be a wall. Right here. That blocked. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut this tree down and then we'll have a pull through. Uh, I put the manure, uh, the manure pit does work. Look at that. It's already got a chonky, chonky bit in it. 5,550 liters. Yes, we can get that ornamental tree thing up and running. That is going to be our goal today. So bring the telehandler and uh, one of the tractors pulling the, uh, I keep cutting, wanting to call it a Bentley trailer but it's not Bentley trailer it's uh was it Brantley or Brantner oh let's look at it real quick it's got the Union Jack on the side so uh what 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 what, what far what what is it what is it it is a uh, pro series Stewart Stewart trailer I don't know what B came to mind okay so we'll we'll dump the the wood chips probably like right here or something um We'll grab the telehandler and bucket, and we'll fill that up with manure. And we'll pull up whatever the pigs have, and we'll fill that up. And then we'll go dump that at the at the ornamental tree. And since the telehandler cannot take uh, non-dolly trailers, it can't take any trailer with tongue weight. Uh, but it could take a dolly trailer because all the the tongue weight or all the weight that would be on the tongue is on its front wheels. Uh, I can take dolly trailers, just can't take a non-tongue trailer. Or, okay, now I'm just talking circles. Don't listen to me. It can take one of those, it can't take one of these. There. <laughs> so we'll grab our nice new uh, fent here. We've been making this this thing work. It's new to the farm, but we have make, been making it work pretty good. You can look at an hour clock down there. 1.7 it has it has been doing some work go ahead and dump these wood ships here 
What if I can back up onto the pile? There we go. There we go. All right. And we'll go ahead and... I guess... Uh... Huh. Let's go around the other way here. Oh, did I give myself enough room to spin? I did. Let's go around through the narrow bit of the yard. Uh, so we're facing the other direction here. That'll line ourselves up better with the, the pig manure. Uh, let's weasel around that corner like this. Maybe back it in a little bit. Uh, whoop. I lost lost my line of sight on my wheels here. Now let's get over and get that uh, telehandler. Go ahead and snag the bucket. I don't have a manure fork, so we're just going to have to deal with a bucket for now. Now that I know we can get manure on this map, I will definitely get a manure fork. Just because it looks better. All right, here we go. Onward. I got rid of this gate here as well. I got rid of most of the gates that were in my way. Because <laughs> you could drive through the gate, but you couldn't drive through the posts. And it was, I don't know, it was just weird. I'm surprised I haven't got rid of this gate yet either. All right. Well, there's so many buildings and collisions in the way. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, the whole reason this little side path was created. <laughs> We're gonna catch the edge. Aha, look at that. And we were lined up to dump them in the trailer. Honestly, I should probably be using that green trailer because there's, there's nothing else we've used the green trailer for. That could be like the poop trailer, but I just thought of that now, so. All right, there we go. This thing's arm movements take too many mouse, mouse movements to take care of. We'll take this over to the uh, to the cow farm. And take care of that five thousand some liters of dung. Oh, what did I hit? Caught the corner of the bush, I guess. Uh, Got to remember, I'm offset in a telehandler like this. All right, let's go back and get the uh, the fence and the Stewart trailer. See, I remember this time. He can be taught. I was thinking after we harvest that field, there might be something well, of a, uh, an under, undergoing, something to do, undertaking. We could chop down these trees, get rid of these bushes, and combine this into that field as well. Because we still have those three grass fields for our grass needs. The only reason I didn't make this into a field is because at the time I didn't know you could take all these out. And it was just been too much of a kerfuffle to get around <laughs> this curve and that curve with a combine. So now that I know we can get rid of all that stuff, uh, we might just combine those two fields together after we harvest it. Because we've already prepped that field, you know, it's planted, it's fertilized, it's been de-rocked, it's been cultivated and plowed and yada, yada, yada. It's been all done. When we Once we f take care of that and we harvest it, then we'll chop down the trees and the shrubs, and then we'll take care of the second field. And I'm too busy blabbing on, gesturing with my hands. I'll let my tractor crash into the shrub. Oh, wow. I thought for sure I was going to smack into the wall there. <laughs> Oh, she did it. She did it very well. 
Let's see. I might put the large, uh, the large manure bunker in now that I know it actually works. This was the spot where the, uh, the silage bunker was. Yeehaw, we're gonna have a lot of manure now. It was a thousand liters filled this bucket up. Nope, nope, I turned the wrong way. No, 2,000 liters looks like. And no, I didn't look at the number when it was a full bucket. I just looked at it. The bar was full. I didn't pay attention to how, what the number said. We should be able to pick this up, though, in one bucket, right? Man, I should get my joystick back out for this. There we go. I should at least get our ornamental tree farm started. Because those things are worth something. Dang! All right, there we go. I'll just put this guy right over here for now. We're gonna use it at both farms eventually, so we'll just, it's good for sitting right there. We're gonna bring this over to the uh, ornamental tree gnos. And that was an auto save. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right, here we are. Oh yeah, and I uh, <laughs> sold that Christmas tree because it was just getting so dang irritating. <laughs> it was like right in the spot where it's clipping in and out. I was trying to like water and tend to my greenhouses. And I was just like, you know what? You know what? We're, we're done with this. It looks pretty from a distance. Irritating is all get out. There we go. Let's get some manure going. Uh, I think. Wow. Okay, what else needs manure? What else do you need? Water, manure, and wood chips. It's got everything it needs. So can I turn my tree? <gasps> can I turn the nursery on now? Um, oh yeah, what do we want? Why is there two? Which one do we want? Which one sells the most right now? Twenty-one thousand, fifty-seven thousand. Uh, I think that that might be a typo. That might try to be 28,000. Mm -hmm. 143,000. You know what? If that's what it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is it might take like three years for a yew tree to grow or something like that. Oh, uh, 280, 280. That just seems wrong. So... I'm I'm not gonna go with that. The box what I might think about 143. 57 and 21. Um see that's more in line with everything is in line there. So I, I want to go with this because that would just be ridiculous bank. And so would that be? Let's go with agave. Let's let's go with the highest of the the lows or something like that. However you want to say it. Um, that one just needs. What is? 
going on here? Okay, that's this one. Why, why is it this one? Oh, I need seeds too. Okay. So we drop off some seeds. But we'll get this rolling. What is this one though? What is this one? Why does this one not need wood chips? Why are there two different? Why are there two different? <laughs> 19 cycles per month, 24 cycles per month. Well, they're, they're both turning on and we'll bring seeds to both of them. So, natter natter boo boo. We'll go ahead and dump this in the pig's manure pit because that one seems to be filling up slower for the time being. And it's closer. Then we will uh, load some uh, seeds into this trailer. And dump them into that greenhouse. All right. Weasel through these tight little corridors. Yeah, you could you could literally sell everything on this map. It's ridiculous. Like, look at this. I don't want this. Get rid of the old storage shed. And I, I want. Well, that's the old storage shed. I don't want. Well, that's all part of the old storage shed. I think. Oh no. Again, at some point. Yeah, see, I can sell the gate. And I think this fence comes with something, but yeah, you could you could sell every building. You can get rid of the pig farm. You can get rid of this shed. Actually, that shed wouldn't be bad to get rid of, because that would open up this yard quite a bit more. Hmm, I might just do that. Yeah, you could get rid of a lot of stuff. It's it's crazy. Very customizable yard. Let's do this hardcore S turn with this big equipment and find our way over to the seed area, which I believe is the that one back in the corner there. Yep. We'll go ahead and get some seeds. We'll hit it 2,000, then we'll stop. Because if we go over, we can just dump it right there in our own storage. When we go under, then we can just come back for more. I need to get rid of that bush. That's a mobile bush. That screen is in the way. No, oh, don't knock over the barbecue pit. You gonna take all 2,000? I don't know how many you're gonna take. No, you're not. But production should be running now, right? Yeah, we got full of seeds. Although it says we don't have enough manure in there. We only have half the manure. I dumped a half a trailer of manure. I don't know what your problem is. And I dumped half a trailer of wood chips. So what? what's your problem? Is there two greenhouses overlapping each other in this spot or something weird like that? I don't know. I don't have the stacking pallets mods because that would make, I'd maybe think that might be the problem. But that's not the problem. We need to get in here with that little John Deere mower, really. Oh, well, it is what it is. We're going to dump these in our own little storage area so we can pick them up later. Hope I didn't cut anybody off. <laughs> dip through here. Dip over here. Yeah. All right. And then we'll donk 
I'll go over to here and put this in. Because we have, yeah, we've got some fert in there, and now we've got some seed in there. And also, it's liquid fert. I thought it held lime. Oh, no, it didn't hold lime. That was the problem. That's why I've still got a lime pile here. All right. All right. We'll go ahead and just bring this over here. Park it up. I'll put it away off cam. And let's take this little bad boy out. And do some of that uh, trimming up that I was saying we needed to be done. All right, let's get rid of some of this bush work here. Up until we are, we hit the actual physical shrub. Got to have our curb appeal up, you know? Oh, I hit that. Why did it not mow over? Come on. It's like perfectly inside of that shrub. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was looking for. All right, well, apparently we're full up. So we'll go ahead and drop this off. Drop, drop this off. We'll let that unload because it takes 267,000.5 years to unload. Um, how we doing over here? Ooh, look at this. Two strawberries and tomatoes. I did have that, again, I don't remember if I said this, but I did have that, un, that auto loading like little box trailer but it would just suck it in automatically, not pallet wise. It would just suck it in like per item and then put it in a box of its own inside the trailer. And it would auto do anything it was near, but you could only have one thing at a time in it. So I had two things of strawberries, two things of tomatoes and a thing of lettuce. And I ended up with 187 liters of strawberries because it would like suck some strawberries and then delete those to suck some tomatoes to delete those to do some lettuce and delete that to do some more strawberries so it would delete whatever you had in it so it was like the reverse of like the balers and it was yeah so i lost like five pallets due to that so screw that we're just gonna use pallets <laughs> um Here's our D-Rocker. Ended up just straight up buying one. We have this nice little uh, transport trailer. I moved the little forklift over to the oil production area because that's the best place to uh, use it to move the pallets of oil. Are you still? No, you're doing that. Oh, you're good. And then off, off camera, I'll probably mow, mow around both the uh, production areas, the like all around that area and all around the greenhouse areas. I'll probably bring out the, the big mowers, and mow it all down because it's a little overgrown. But anyways, I think that's enough for this episode and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It does mean the world to me. Subscribe if you like the content, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.